very vivid vision. A past life was revealed and relived. In the mountains of Japan, long about 1500, there was a Zen Buddhist monastery that was devoted to the art of fishing. I was a Buddhist monk. My teacher, my mentor, my master was a man by the name of Takasushi, father of Zen fishing. Takasushi was fond of saying to me, Grasshopper? He called all of us Grasshopper because we all looked alike and he couldn't remember our names. Grasshopper? You will become a master fisherman when you can snatch the rod from my hand. I never could snatch it from his hand, but it taught me patience because all I had to do was let Takasushi fall asleep and I could fish to my heart's <laughs> delight. Now Takasushi was known as the father of Zen fishing for one very good reason. He invented and perfected the art of bunku. Now bunku involved the development, the breeding, the training of special grasshoppers. Grasshoppers that would crawl out on the end of the line and hold on tight with no hook. Their scent and their juice attracted the fish and could not, could not be denied. The fish would hold on no matter Takasushi would say to me, Grasshopper, did you bring the grasshoppers? <laughs> yes, I brought the grasshoppers. But you used all of them last week. Well, when we go to the mountains next week, make sure you bring some or we'll have to stop at Bass Pro. <laughs> There is no Takasushi, there's no Bass Pro, it's the 1500s. When we got up to the mountains for our annual trip, Takasushi said to me, give me the grasshoppers, I'm going fishing, please set up the camp. <coughs> I stood there and marveled at this old fisherman. Such patience, such persistence, such senility. <laughs> Takasushi all of a sudden had his fish. He had a big fish. He yelled at me, Grasshopper, get over here! He had a giant. I knew it. He had this trophy trout. A trophy trout that he, that he lifted up. He looked at me and he said, Grasshopper, hand me the digital camera. <laughs> Takasushi, there is no digital camera. This is the 1500s. Oh, kiss this beautiful trophy trout slide back into the water to fight another fight. Ah, oh, Takasushi, my teacher, my mentor, my master. The story of the giant trout that almost swallowed Takasushi was told far and wide. Mostly by Takasushi. <laughs> Takasushi 
was known as the father of Zen fishing, also known locally as the father of Zen lying. 